So we're almost right at the end of the holiday season here in Mallorca and I'm down here in Alcudia Beach Resort. So in this video we're going to take a walk down through Alcudia Strip. We're going to take a walk along Alcudia Beach as well where I am going to be having a little bit of a rant as well as we approach the end of season. So come and join me on my walk today and we're going to start off here over at the Bellevue Complex. So it's looking a little bit cloudy here for the end of October over here in Alcudia, but the good news is that the sun is starting to come out. So hopefully when we get down to the beach, we're gonna have some lovely blue skies and turquoise blue seas to enjoy. So the Bellevue complex is looking pretty busy for this time of year. So many people are coming out for a, a late holiday. But there's lots of clearing up going on here and I can just see over in front of me an ice cream freezer being wheeled away. Now what we can see here is going to be a very different story in just a few days. I'm filming this on Friday the 27th of October and this huge holiday resort is starting to wind down for the season. So there are a couple of things that have surprised me today already as I've come into the resort. I'm surprised by the amount of people that are still over here on holiday and I'm also quite surprised about the number of things that have already closed down over here in Alcudia. But so far there's still plenty open, I can still see some safari bike rentals. A little bit further up the strip there, further on the way up to the Cez Roques Horse Riding Centre which is still open. And that does stay open all over through the winter as well. Just coming up past the Colbert supermarket here, which is right at the top of the strip, and it's a really, really good supermarket to head on into if you're staying over here on a self-catering basis. Now, they're definitely open for the next week or so, but as we further go on to, into November, they'll be closing. And like many businesses over here in Alcudia, it's going to be purely dependent on how many people are still going to be over here on holiday. I'm guessing not that many, actually, as we approach the end of the season. But check out the demand here for holidays as we go on through October. I'm just coming up past Champions. It's very busy over here this lunchtime. Now, my goodness me, I'm just coming up past Champions here to something of a building site. Now, let me just uh, put my camera over the fence here and take a look. Now, there's obviously going to be some significant building works going on over here. I have heard rumours it could be a shopping centre, a new shopping complex, which is hopefully going to mean some extra bars and restaurants too. Now, let's see if that's going to be ready by, by springtime 2024. I'm not convinced it's going to be, to be honest. It looks like there's going to be a lot of work taking place here. So although we are approaching the end of the holiday season over here in Mallorca, I'm still going to be coming up to the main resorts over the winter. I've actually got lots of content to put out, not only here from Alcudia, but from all over Mallorca too. So don't forget to consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, if you're hoping to book a holiday over here for next summer. see the pizza and Calo takeaway has already closed for the season but the good news is is that Julio's crepes is still open and of course he will be opening the crepe side of the business a little bit later on in the day so all stars is still open but as we head on over the bridge here look you can see that the Sierra restaurant has already closed they've taken all their tables and chairs away Got a bit of a 50-50 here in Al Alcudia Beach Resort today, just on the strip. Got some tables still out. Also down towards Jokers as well, right at the end here, look. We've got some tables out as well. Looks like that's still open. It's becoming very obvious now that we really are approaching the end of the summer here in 2023. Most of the shops down here do seem to be open. It looks like they are seeing out the summer season. Almost every single souvenir shop, clothes shop, and mini mart seems to still be open over here on the Alcudia Strip today. But for 
some restaurants over here. It is proving hard to stay open right to the end of the season on the 31st of October. We can see here that the Loro Verde restaurant is already closed. Look, they've got the fences up already and all the tables stacked up. Which is a little bit sad to see. So just turning left here, down the strip of bars over here on Alcudia Strip, and you would have seen these in my video which I made during the summer season. I'll link to it at the end of this video, but you can see that the White Rose is still open. You can see Paco's Bar is still open. But as we come further along here, Nobby's has closed down, as has Mucky O'Mara's too. Okay, so heading back onto Alcudia Strip. So the Tavern Irish Pub is still open. And look, we've still got these little kiddies rides out as well. They haven't fenced them off yet or taken them away, which you will normally find right at the end of the tourist season. So I guess they can still be used. I can see the Chinese restaurants at the other side of the road are still open too. Like the other inside by Melia over in Calvia Beach Resort over in Magaluf, that's closed. As it is here in Alcudia too, we see the sorry sign of a fence up right at the entrance here of the pizza restaurant. Not a pretty sight if you're over here, but the good news is, is that next door, the shopping centre here is still open too. So I've just bumped into some subscribers to the channel and I asked them about what they thought about Alcudia at this time of year. Now they've really enjoyed it, they've had a great holiday, but they are a little bit upset about, well, how much the islands has changed over the years, maybe with the prices going up as well, and also the very different, maybe less traditional feel to some of the resorts and the towns around the islands. Now the one disappointment as well is right in front of me, so let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what I mean. So right opposite the Alua Boccaccio Hotel is the Roma Italian restaurant. Now this doesn't stay open for the entire season. It closed maybe a few days ago, but the visitors that were over here were very disappointed they couldn't come down and eat because it is very popular down here and it does offer great value as well, as well as some really nice food. So it's a little bit of a shame actually that they weren't able to remain open. Right across the road here, I can see the Taste of India is still open. But also, we can see some good fun building works taking place as well, which are also making quite a bit of noise too. So they didn't hang on until the end of the season, until starting at building works over here on Alcudia Strip. OK, so from here, we're going to leave Avenida and we're going to head on down towards Alcudia Beach. Just coming up to the crossing here, you can see the Samfora restaurant as well. This is closed up already for the season. But the good news is, is that there's plenty of taxis here, which um, maybe wasn't quite the case during peak season this summer. So this is interesting, the Pariso Beach restaurant is still open, but I can see here that the hotel doesn't look like it is open. It looks like it's already closed down, which is quite unusual, but let's head on down towards the jetty. Just looking across the beach here, I can see that the Sea Soul Beach Club has already closed down for the winter. Let's just pan the camera around. Now there are still quite a few people down here. I can see a lot of people swimming off far in the distance too. They haven't really cleared the sunbeds away down here in the same way that they have done over in Parmanova. And look, all the water sports. Bits and bobs are still here too, and I can also see a pedalo out in the water. Also, looks like the boat trips have still been running as well. Now the sea is incredibly calm here today in Alcudia. We've had a lot of wind over towards Parmanova and Magaluf over the past few days, but it's very different over here. It's super, super calm. Just check out the water. So I can see the sun is struggling to come out over here in Alcudia. 
Although I've had a little bit of cloud today, I hope you're enjoying this video. I know we're going to be in for a good weekend ahead to see out the summer season. Now, as I came into Alcudia this afternoon, I came down past Club Mac and I could see that there are quite a few restaurants that open down there and, and obviously all the shops as well. And so Club Mac did look like it was quite busy too. They also had the water park open too. And even though we've got 21, 22 degrees today, it's quite warm. It was good to see that the water park has managed to stay open as well. Okay, so if you are hoping to come out at this time of year next year, right for the last week of the season over here in Mallorca on holiday, well, I want to make you aware of a few things as well. And this is simply from conversations that I have had from visitors who have been on the island this week. Now, as you know, I've been out and about filming this week, so I've had a chance to chat to many of you who are staying over here at the moment. And it just seems like such a shame that so many businesses over here have had to close right before the end of the season. So before the 31st of October. Now we can see over in Alcudia Strip that much of it is open, but there are mainly restaurants that have had to close earlier. And that's probably due to their size as well. Maybe they can't justify staying open for the size of the restaurants, the costs it was, it, it was involved in keeping them open and the amount of tourists that we have over here until the end of the season. However, over Palm and Over Way, and I was over there yesterday, I saw a lot of the beach umbrellas being collected, and worst of all, I saw the boardwalks being taken up and off the beach as well, right before the end of the season. So bearing in mind, we've got a good five or six days left of the season. It does mean that those with accessibility issues aren't able to get down onto the beach if they needed those boardwalks to get down onto the sand. And it's such a shame that they felt like they had to start packing up the island even before the season has finished. So I hope this video has proved useful for you if you're hoping to come out over to Alcudia at the end of next season. And don't forget too that I have got loads of content already on my channel all about Alcudia. So I'll drop a couple of videos here and here on YouTube. Okay, everyone, don't forget you can find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. And there is more information on my website on mallorcaunderthesun.com. Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to be out here over the winter months as well. So stay connected to Mallorca, stay connected to my channel as well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye for now.